Dear friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about four point starter. Before going to discuss about four point starter, first we will discuss what is the disadvantage in three point starter and how to overcome this disadvantage with the help of four point starter. Next, what is the construction of four point starter and and what are the disadvantages and advantages of four point starter okay so first of all so this is the three point starter which is already discussed in our previous video okay so first of all so i will explain in brief about three point starter so when we give dc supply to the three point starter the current flows through the handle when we move the handle in clockwise direction stud by stud the resistance will cut off and back emf will gain finally at run position the entire resistance will cut off and the back emf comes to rated value at run position the nvc uh, the nvc holds the handle and the supply flows through the nvc coil to the field the field is connected in series to the nvc coil okay and when we change the resistance if you want to change the speed we are going to change the resistance when we change the resistance the field current will decreases when field current decreases the flux decreases when flux decreases the speed will increases why because flux and speed both are inversely proportional n is inversely proportional to phi okay so if you want to change the speed or if you want to increase the speed we are going to increase the resistance when we increase the resistance the field current will decreases when field current decreases too low the current in nvc coil is also decreases why because the field is connected in series to the nvc when the current in nvc decreases too low it demagnetizes the nvc demagnetizes and releases the handle back to the off position which interrupts the dc motor operation unexpectedly so this disadvantage overcomes with the help of four point starter now i will change this schematic diagram this three point starter schematic diagram with small changes okay so now see here so just okay Yes. So now, so we are arranging one more point or resistance in series to the NVC coil, and the field is connected directly to the brass arc. So now, NVC coil is independent to the field. 
वट एवर द फील्ड करंट इट डज नॉट डी मैग्नेटाइजेस इट डज नॉट रिलीजेस द हैंडल एंड देर इज नो इंटरप्शन इन ऑपरेशन ओके सो नाउ इफ यू चेंज द स्पीड वट एवर द स्पीड सो एनवीसी इज इंडिपेंडेंट टू द फील्ड and with the help of resistance with the help of this resistance we are going to set the current in the nvc coil if you want to change the resist uh, if you want to change the current in the nvc we are going to change the resistance okay and this point is the n so l is the line a is the armature f is the field and n is the neutral position okay and these are the four points and this starter is called four point starter the entire operation is same just like a three point starter what we discussed in previous video okay and it is also having one disadvantage if you increase the speed with the help of rheostat which runs dangerous speed there is no overload protection in previous case that is in three point starter if speed increases more and more the field current decreases when field current decreases the nvc current decreases and nvc demagnetizes and it releases the handle back in this way three point starter protects the protects from over current over current protection but now the nvc is independent to the field it does not protect from over current so this is the disadvantage for four point starter and the advantage is it overcomes the three point starter's disadvantage okay so in next video we will discuss about speed control of dc shunt motor how to control the speed of a dc shunt motor okay so bye